Hey guys, welcome to my new video. I will show you how to install Sildur's Vibrant shaders in Minecraft 1.20. So let's get right into that. So as you can see, I already have Optifine and Sildur's Vibrant on my desktop. All you have to do now is to go to the video description. There's two download links, so click on that please, it will take you to my website. And from there you can simply download that. So download it please and drag and drop them on the desktop. So I already did that and let's continue. So we need to get to the roaming folder, sorry, I was completely stunned. So we need to get to the roaming folder, so you open up the window search bar and type in percent app data percent, hit enter and it will open the roaming folder. So in here you can see that Minecraft folder, open it please and scroll down until you get to the shader packs. Take Sil Sildur's Vibrant and drop it in here. Go back and scroll a little further down and find the versions. Double click on Optifine and it will show up this amazing window. And in here we just simply need to click install. Wait and as you can see Optifine is successfully installed. Right now you have to check if 1.20 Optifine is in here. As you can see, I have it in here. In case you don't have it in here, that's a big issue because that means you haven't installed the Optifine. So repeat the step. Then open up the Minecraft Launcher and we need to actually make sure that we are launching uh, Optifine 1.20. So uh, in here, find my Optifine 1.20 like I did, hit play. And we need to wait for like a couple of seconds. Then we will be in the Minecraft menu. And from there I'll show you how to apply the shaders and how you can actually uh, play with them. So right now I'm in the Minecraft menu. And go to the single player and your word. For me it's Sherlock, that's the word I have made myself. And uh, in here go, go to the options. So do that by uh, hitting escape on your keyboard. Options, Video Settings, Shaders and choose Silver's Vibrant Extreme, which is the shader that we have installed. And then simply hit Done. And as you can see, it's working. I don't, I don't have any issues. So I believe you won't have any issues as well. If uh, in case you do, just let me know and I'll help you with that. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. And uh, I hope that I'll see you in the next one.